Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about all the Marvel series uh, that were and show and movies and whatever <laughs> that were talked about during the Disney presentation for the Investors Day. Um, I actually did a Marvel one already, um, but there were a lot of things that I missed out on that I really wanted to talk about. Um, that's what happens when you do things on the day of and not wait and think about it and try to remember everything that was said. Um, I also did ones for Lucasfilm, Star Wars, uh, Lucasfilm and Star Wars <laughs> is part of the same thing, and Disney and Pixar. So you guys can check out those ones also um, right after you watch this. So let us continue. What were some of the things that I forgot? One thing that I don't remember if I talked about or not was the What If series coming to Disney+. Plus. Uh, I'm looking forward to this series. I think the animation style in it looks fantastic. Uh, I really like the idea of the care of the actors coming back to do their voices for this one. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't wait for the What If series. I th I think that's going to be awesome. Um, another show that I forgot to talk about in the previous video was Secret Invasion. This is going to be the Nick Fury series. That was rumored about back, uh, what, a month or two ago uh, that I was talking about. Uh, yeah, of course, I am very excited about this. I'm actually surprised they are doing this series on Disney Plus and not keeping it for a movie event. Because you'd think that it would be better for a movie. But maybe they realize, you know what, as a TV show, we can have a lot of guest stars come in and uh, show themselves and revealing to be scrolls here and there. So... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a Secret Invasion series and Nick Fury as the lead. I think it's about time Samuel Jackson gets the focus in the MCU that he deserves. Um, and they said Ben Mendelsohn will be returning as Talos, so that's going to be cool. Um, <clears throat> Ironheart is another series that they said is in development. They already had an actress picked out. For it, this will clearly be one of the series that are going to be tied more to Iron Man, even though Iron Man is no longer around, um, possibly as the new Iron Man, or as some people are predicting, possibly a setup for the new Avengers as they keep introducing some of these younger characters that are supposed to be part of this new team one day. Um, Armor Wars is something that I'm actually really excited about, especially after I read up on what armor wars is in the comics apparently tony stark's suit or his technology is taken away and uh, uh and tony has to go and get it back but considering the fact that robert downey jr aka tony stark is no longer in this series the show will be focusing more on uh roadie war machine uh played by don Cheadle once again uh, I'm looking forward to this series. I think it's cool that Don Cheadle is getting to get, have his own series. Um, some people are already speculating maybe he'll be the new Iron Man after this. I don't think so. I think you can still keep him as War Machine, but uh, you'll never know, man. Uh, moving on, something that I thought was the most interesting from this presentation was an announcement about a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Um, this is going to be the first holiday special for the MCU and James Gunn is going to write and direct it and that um, it will be live action and it will be connected to the MCU. So we can expect the Guardians of the Galaxy, the cast, Chris Pratt, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper, uh, maybe Zoe Saldana, I don't know, uh, and maybe Nebula, maybe uh, Mantis. Drax as well. So the whole cast, I think, will be back for this one. Um, maybe this is the one that will bring Gamora back. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they're not even going to save that for the movie. Maybe the unless this this holiday special takes place earlier in the timeline, maybe before Infinity War happens, then they can use Baby Groot again. I mean, that would be a, a cool little thing, but I can see them using Teenage Groot as well. We'll see what happens. I'm excited about it. I think this is fantastic. Any more things with the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, I'm excited about. I do wonder, though, if Thor will be part of it. I, I really want more Thor and the Guardians together, so I maybe not. It doesn't have to, but I mean, if you still have Fat Thor there, you can have him dress up as Santa 
and give gifts to Rocket and Groot. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, another thing, they did also say that they're going to have an animated show about baby Groot called I Am Groot. Well, he'll be going. It will be like a series of shorts, and uh, baby Groot will get in trouble with other creatures in the Guardians of the Galaxy universe. So I, that could be a lot of fun, but that sounds like it's going to be more geared towards kids. Um, Thor Love and Thunder, they had some news. We knew Christian Bale was going to be in the movie, but we didn't know who he was playing. But now they confirmed Gore the God Butcher is going to uh, be the main villain. And Christian Bale is going to be playing him. I actually read a, up a little bit about Gore the, the God Butcher. And he sounds like a really interesting character and a perfect character for Christian Bale to play. So if you want to know more about him, go read him up. Uh, there, or find people on YouTube that can explain it better than I could. Um, finally, Ant-Man and the Wasp has the full title now. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. So that is the full title for that movie. Um, which clearly implies that we're going to have more fun in the quantum realm. Uh, will it have anything to do with Doctor Strange? I don't know. But King the Conqueror has been confirmed to be in this uh, series. And that... Uh, if people are speculating what's true about that Loki trailer, maybe that series might hint at Kang the Conqueror's uh, entrance into the MCU. So we'll see. Uh, so yes, that was some of the stuff that I missed out on in the previous MCU video. Uh, you can go check that out to see my thoughts on the Loki trailer. All three trailers that were released that day as well. Some of the other news items that dropped the Fantastic Four news, the Black Panther 2 news, all that stuff. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, take care.